as you all may know, I just made a very popular video that hit 4.7k views overnight. And I gained 22 subscribers. More than. However, the baffling thing is that my videos have almost no views. For my channel, when a video I poured my heart and soul into gets 15 views, in my channel, that's a cause for celebration. So you'll almost be wondering, how the hell did I pull this off? And that, my friends, is something I was able to accomplish in the most outrageous way possible. Saying the YouTube algorithm lately has been horrific would be a huge understatement. The thing is, for YouTube to come out with TikTok, they began YouTube Shorts now. Because people have attention spans shorter than my will to live. People now only watch YouTube Shorts, and there was basically a huge downfall in views for long-form content. My YouTube channel is in a worse spot since it's a small subs YouTube channel with basically no subscribers, and the algorithm wasn't helping at all, so I needed a hit. I needed something that would bring my viewers to this channel so I could get subscribers and make my channel more known as 90% of my subscribers were my all accounts. I had to make a video about the most popular topic with the most popular format. And after researching for a bit with my great friend, Diego7, goes up to him, we researched hours and hours until we found the cash cow. I didn't want to do this, but I was desperate. I really don't want to do this. Oh my god, bro. You know what, but, but I was desperate. I'm, I'm desperate. Of course I'm talking about Scooby Toilet, dude. Scoobity Toilet is a YouTube series that is very popular with their fan base. That said, their fan base is a bunch of four-year-olds. I'm pretty sure that baby shoot out of the room while watching Scoobity Toilet. So what did I do? I watched the entirety of Scoobity Toilet. That I took an iconic moment from the show and took a screenshot of it. A moment, a photo taken before disaster, as some would say. Those, if you know memes, if you know you know memes, where it shows the reaction of someone who understands an image. Anyway, I took that meme, made the quality impossibly bad, the quality of the, of the audio somehow worse than the emoji movie. After all that, I put, er, emoji movie. Here, look, take a look at the video. <laughs> After all that, I made the video and put more hashtags than there are children locked in my basement. That's a really hard number to beat. After all of that, I uploaded the video and I went to sleep. The next morning, I woke up to a YouTube short with over 4.7k. So that's the story of how I broke the algorithm. Am I proud of what I did? No, not really. But do I regret doing what I did? Absolutely not. 